Hi, I'm Charlotte Boise here at the Manhattan Cocktail Classic, and we've just learned all about tequila with Malaga Ambassador Jaime Salas. Jaime, you just did a great seminar. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, we just wrapped up a seminar entitled uh, Let the Spirit Guide You, a deconstructed and reconstructed tequila course. The premise was really just to show people uh, just appreciate the nuances of tequila as a neat spirit, and ultimately, uh, showcasing just how you can take that spirit and then construct it into a beautiful cocktail. Uh, so I see a few bottles here. Did you literally go through we each? We involved all them? three, a silver, a reposado, and a añejo from Milagro. I got some of my favorite bartenders from around the city and, and outside the city, as a matter of fact, to come in and help us out. Uh, Chris Hudnall came in from Miami. Yep. We have uh, Camille Austin here just down the street and uh, also Rafael Reyes, and I did an amazing Job. Great. So your seminar guests and they tasted the spirit first. How do you taste the spirit? Teach me how I would, for example, yeah, taste the reposado. Absolutely. First and foremost, you should definitely observe the uh, the color, right? I mean, the color will tell you a lot. So the the hue uh, you can almost detect some viscosity in it, depending yep. on how it swirls, etc. After that, we observe the nose. Obviously, tequila. There's no better descriptor than that beautiful herbaceous agave earthiness you get, right? It's almost it's, fruity. Is that, it's almost is that fruity. Right? It's got some floral notes, some fruitiness to it. Mm -hmm. in some case, some citric notes. Uh, Malagro, in particular, has a very bright citric quality to it. Uh, and we did that once uh, over three times, and, and basically observed each silver wrap on Yeho. And then lastly, of course, we tasted it. And, uh, so it's okay to taste. It helps it's with the absolutely good. It's right, okay. Let's have a little so sip of cheers. This. And then talk to me about the cocktail. So you had different mixologists. Was the idea that it was their take? Because they use the same spirit. So how did their cocktails differ? Absolutely. I am huge on aromatics. And, uh, and, and tequila is a very complex spirit. That of over 600 plus aromatics are contained in tequila. So uh, it's just really about getting their perspective, their, their take on what it is that they observed in the spirit meat. And tequila, like most spirits, um, that of uh, great scotches and brandies uh, have a lot going on. So they took that uh, knowledge, that observation, and then they went and, and built something around that, all the while preserving agave notes, which is really sort of at the top of my request for them, right? Is to let that tequila shine through. And one thing that I loved that you did is you showed and educated New York that really tequila is not just about the margarita anymore. These are wildly not. different cocktails. So. Absolutely. Well, it's great. About, and we did some great takes on riffs on classics as well as uh, some very new and innovative stuff. So uh, it was fun. Great. Thanks for being here. And I guess, salute. Salute. Cheers. Cheers.